Tonight, mixed emotions in Pettis County following the announcement that no charges will be filed in the death of 25 year old Hannah Pfizer. She was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy during a traffic stop in June. Today, a special prosecutor ruled the shooting was justified under Missouri state law. KCTV 5's Emily Rittman is in Sedalia with reaction. According to the special prosecutor's report, additional training on de-escalation may be what is needed to prevent avoidable deadly encounters between law enforcement and members of the community. A Pettis County deputy shot and killed Hannah Pfizer on June 13th. During the traffic stop for traffic violations, the deputy told dispatchers Pfizer said she was recording him, had a gun, and was going to shoot him. Investigators did not find a gun in Pfizer's car. It's his word against hers, and it's easy for him to say whatever he wants to say, and she's not here to tell her story. The special prosecutor's report says investigators relied on dispatch audio, witness statements, investigative reports, and surveillance video from a nearby business that showed Pfizer reached down to the floorboard and raised up before the deputy took a defensive stance, then shot her. The business surveillance video did not record audio. There was no body camera or dash camera video. I still believe that that girl was reaching for her phone. Realized that it had got to a point that, hey, she needs to get get this on camera for her protection. In the report, the special prosecutor said, quote, based on the information and circumstances available to the officer during the event, it cannot be said that the officer did not have reasonable belief that he was in danger of serious physical injury or death at the time he fired. It's devastating. You know, uh, here's a family and it's their only daughter shot and killed in a traffic stop. I'm definitely more broken. Pettis County Sheriff Kevin Bond released a written statement that said they are waiting for delivery of the report to complete an internal investigation. He asked the community to work together to quote reduce the polarization this emotional and traumatic event caused end quote. We're not ready to give up yet so we're going to continue to to fight and protest. KCTV 5 News asked Sheriff Bond if Pettis County deputies will receive additional de-escalation training. I certainly hope so. We also asked if the deputy involved remains on administrative leave or is back on duty, but have not received a response to those questions. The special prosecutor said making a determination in this case was made somewhat more difficult because of a lack of a body camera or audio. Reporting from Pettis County, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.